Thick as Thieves uh, is one of those titles that I really consider uh, a gift uh, because I had it as soon as I started writing the book. Um, uh, I'd finished the prologue. Uh, the prologue, you know, establishes that there are four burglars uh, and they have a plan, uh, but of course everything goes wrong. And um, some of them are, are not very friendly to one another and bad things happen between them. And, and so the title, Thick as Thieves, uh, just seemed so appropriate. And not all titles come that easily, which is why I considered this one <laughs> a blessing. The setting, as I've said many times before, um, should, in my opinion, be another character of the book. Um, it should be so integral uh, to, the, to the plot uh, because it establishes who these people are, where these characters come from, uh, their environment, their food, their vernacular, um, everything about them. It, it speaks to the character. And so the, the, the setting almost needs to be a, another character in and to itself. So when I was choosing a setting for Thick as Thieves, it just seemed so appropriate <laughs> to choose Caddo Lake, Texas. It borders Texas and Louisiana, forms the border. In fact, the state line runs right through the lake. And um, it has a unique and, and fascinating history and heritage. It's very much more like Louisiana than one typifies a setting in Texas. Um, it's studded with cypress trees. Um, it's very murky. Um, it has all these legends attached to it. Uh, during some periods in, in Texas history, there were said to be, you know, numerous murders and bodies disappear <laughs> on a daily basis. And, um, and it's very, you know, has the, the, the moss draping from the tree. So it was just perfect. Um, it's said to have a, a resident Sasquatch. Uh, Black Panthers are said to roam the forest uh, around the lake. Um, it's got alligators, and uh, so it, it, it was, the setting was just perfect. If you were going to hide something, if you were going to hide some bodies, body, <laughs> Kettle Lake would be the perfect place. One element that is different uh, in Thickest Thieves is that it really is the backstory and the front story running at the same time. Um, I tried this technique uh, in another book, which happened to be <laughs> one of my still bestsellers, um, called Envy, where I was telling um, that the hero is writing a novel. So I was telling about his novel at the same time I was telling what was happening in the present with his life and the two stories dovetail. And that's, I use that same technique in, in Thick as Thieves because it worked so well the first time and that was 20 years ago. So I thought, I'll try that again. Um, but it, I establish what happens in the prologue and uh, the prologue is very short but at the end of the prologue, I got chills because I thought I'm on to something. Um, as I said, the, the, the burglars have a plan. Um, I said, but by daybreak, the plan had been shot to hell. One was in the hospital. One was in jail. One was in the morgue and one had gotten away with it. And so you know that out of the four, something terrible happened to all of them, except for the one that got away. So I wanted to tell the story of what happened that night, the night of the burglary. How did everything go so wrong so quickly over a 12 hour period? Um, and at the same time, I'm telling the contemporary story, which takes place 20 years later. So, uh, it, and, and so one blends in to the other, I think very nicely. And I think that both stories are 
one is just as powerful as the other. In other words, what happened that night years ago has a definite effect on what's happening in the present day. Thick as Thieves comes out August 25th. Uh, it's going to be my first experience uh, publishing during the age of COVID-19. Uh, so I won't be going on a physical tour this year, uh, but I will be doing some, some virtual events and I hope people will you know, join in on those. Um, but it, it's going to be a new experience, you know, to have a book come out. So it's more important than ever uh, for my readers to get their copies early. Um, they can order it from any of the vendors that they, you know, typically do. Visit my website, see where to order, um, and of course, in, in ebook form or in hardcover or in audio.